meet us standing at the end of your mat, grounding down into the soles of the feet. Really find your feet down on the ground, the big toes, all of the toes beside, all the way down to the little toe. Finding the ball of the foot down onto the floor, finding the heel of the foot down into the floor. And then just starting to soften and release and relax into this pose. We're going to ground into our breath here. So softening your shoulders, starting to breathe through your nose. Close your eyes as long as you don't get vertigo. Close your eyes. If you do suffer vertigo, just keep your eyes open, gaze low. Roll your shoulders back a little and just shrug them, roll them, slide them down your back. And again, we're going to roll those shoulders up back, release them down. We're going to take that one more time. We're going to roll those shoulders up, back, release them down. And then we're just going to keep them released down the back. Again, noticing your breath, inhaling deeply through your nose, feeling that expansion of your belly, feeling that expansion of your chest, your ribcage, and then exhaling deeply from your nose. Continuing with that rhythm of breath. And as you continue with that rhythm of breath, We've brought a little bit of attention to our shoulders as we've softened them down the back. We've brought some attention to our feet as we've grounded down into the floor. We've brought some attention to our breath. Let's bring some attention to the, our relationship to the ground. So noticing that your feet are connected, that the energy that is you rises up, but that gravity draws you back down towards the earth. And it's that kind of circular motion, the energy that is you rises up. That gravity draws you back down towards the earth and you find yourself really firmly grounded. So aware of that movement, that circular motion of your energy rising, gravity drawing you back down, that relationship that you have to the earth. And noticing the way that you can ground down through the feet and you can stack all the way up through your body. Your pelvis, let's bring our attention there now. Sometimes we tip it forwards. Right, if it was a bowl of water, it would be tipping out the front of the body. Sometimes we kind of slouch back. If it was a bowl of water, it's tipping out the back of the body. Let's see if we can have it in a little bit more of an even position. And from there, from the pelvis, just notice the way that your spine stacks up towards the crown of your head. And even in that stacking, you have the lovely curves of your back, whatever those curves are. Yeah, because those curves are just fine, whatever those curves are. But there's strength, there's strength as you rise up and away from the floor. Our practice today has some balance poses. So let me talk you through that first. If balances are challenging for you, then you keep your toes down on the floor of the leg that I'm instructing you to lift. And I'll give that guidance as we come through the poses. All right, but first we're gonna start with three salutes to the sun. You may have been introduced to these already before. I'm going to come through a modification first that is hands and knees. But if you know that normally we take downward facing dog and you want to take that lunge to down dog, then you can. So we're going to inhale, sweep our hands towards the ceiling, lift our gaze, and then exhale, swan dive back down into forward fold, soften your knees, release down over the knees. Inhale, lift your gaze into halfway lift. Exhale, back down into forward fold. Inhale, step your left foot back into lunge, lower that left knee. Right knee steps back into hands and knees. And so we're going to inhale again, our left foot steps forwards into lunge. And then we exhale, our right foot steps forwards and we're in forward fold. Nice long even breaths, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Really enjoying the movement of the breath through your body. Inhale, rise up to awkward chair. Exhale, rise up to handstand, hands pressing down. Yeah, inhale, sweep those hands towards the sky, lift your back. Exhale, swan dive forwards all the way down into forward fold. We're taking that little extra movement again. We're going to inhale, lift our gaze coming into halfway lift. And then we're going to exhale back down into forward fold. We're going to inhale our right foot back, knee lowers down to the ground. On the exhale, that left knee steps back into hands and knees pose. On the inhale, right knee steps forwards again, yeah, right foot. On the exhale, left foot steps forwards back into forward fold at the front of your mat. That's it. Inhale, come to halfway lift. Exhale, back down into forward fold. You can keep moving through that little modification. Inhale, come to awkward chair. 
or you can change it with me as we do now. We're going to exhale, rise to stand. Remember, not pressing into pain. Inhale, lift your hands towards the sky. Exhale, swan dive forwards into forward fold. We're just going to miss out that little halfway lift. This time we're going to inhale, step that left foot back. And we're going to exhale, step that right foot back into downward facing dog. We inhale, our left foot steps forwards. And we exhale, our right foot steps forwards into forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now full of even breaths. Inhale, awkward chair. Maybe a little faster than you're used to breathing in your practice. Exhale, rise to stand. Inhale, hands reach towards the sky, lift your gaze. Exhale, swan moving forwards into forward fold. We're going to inhale, our right foot steps back into lunge. Exhale, left foot steps back into downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps forwards into lunge. Exhale, left foot steps forwards into forward fold. Inhale, rise up to halfway lift. Exhale, back down into forward fold. We've got one more round. We're going to inhale, rise up to the chair. Exhale, rise up to stand, hands draw down. Inhale, sweep those hands towards the sky, lift your gaze. Exhale, swan dive forwards, all the way down into forward fold, soften those knees. Inhale, left foot steps back. Exhale, right foot steps back into downward facing dog. Inhale, left foot steps forwards into lunge. Exhale, right foot steps forwards into forward fold. Inhale, halfway down. Keep moving in time with your breath. Exhale, back down to forward fold. Inhale, rise up to awkward chair, maybe becoming a little bit more familiar now. Exhale, rising to stand. Inhale, hands reach towards the sky, lift your gaze. Exhale, swan dive forwards into forward fold. Our final side now. We're going to inhale, right foot steps back. Exhale, left foot steps back into downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot steps forwards. Exhale, left foot steps forwards into forward fold. This time we're going to inhale, rise all the way up to standing, sweep our hands towards the sky, lift our gaze. And exhale, hands draw into prayer in front of your heart space. We're going to keep this movement going. Rock your weight into your left foot. Glide that right foot back into warrior. We're going to come into warrior two, sweeping those hands out wide. Let's take a few breaths just to ground back into the breath. Those right toes are pressing forwards a little. Yeah. Your left toes are pressing forwards towards the front of your mat. Hands reaching out long from your shoulders. Now there's the line, right? the line of my spine rising up from my tail up towards the crown of the head rather than leaning forwards at all. So can you imagine that line, the crease along your t-shirt? whatever it is you're wearing, sweeping those hands out wide, let's take a little triple spiral. Rolling those palms towards the back of your body, engaging the muscles between the shoulder blades, yeah, squeezing them a little closer, and then elbows to palms down towards the floor. Everything in balance though, right? That little bit of moderation. Not squeezing those shoulders back so far that your chest is really popping forwards. Just a little tension there. We're ready, we're going to take our three um, movements here. We're going to just pause in each one first. So we're going to tip towards the back of our left arm, now comes towards our left inner thigh, and we reach our right hand and we lift our gaze. We're staying here for a couple of breaths, just getting used to this pose because then we're going to float through it. How is that breathing? Breathing long and smooth. I know that we started in quite a moving flow. So bear with me. <laughs> We're dancing here, we're taking a little dance here. We're going to rock back now, that left leg is going to straighten. We're going to touch that right palm down to our thigh, not press, just touch. Left palm is going to press towards the back of the mat, taking a long stretch through the left hand side. Again, we're pausing here for a couple of breaths. You might want to lift your gaze towards that lifted arm. Now you might want to keep it straight ahead, whatever works best for you. Stay nice and strong down through the back of your body, pressing down into the soles of the feet. That's it. And then we're going to move twice more. So let's count this as one. We're going to exhale, press down, back of the arm against the inner thigh, right arm reaches. 
and then we're going to press back that left leg straight as we press that left palm towards the back of our mat, taking the stretch through the left side. And then our final one, we're going to rock towards the back of the arm towards the inner thigh, right arm reaches. And then we're going to rock back once more. This final time, we're going to press back. And then we're going to cartwheel the hands either side of the left foot and we're going to see if we can float our right foot up behind us. Maybe, right? Floating it towards standing split. Now your standing split might be a little bit more of a just glide that foot towards the other one, but reach it up behind you slowly, maybe exploring what it is to straighten the legs. Now from here, remember I said if the balance is tricky, you keep that toe down on the floor, so you can keep the right toe down on the ground if you need to. We're going to hug that right knee towards our belly, and if it's possible, you're going to rise up to stand, hugging that right knee up towards you. <laughs> We're going to bring that left hand across now to the outside of the right thigh. We're going to take a little press. That's going to lengthen and squeeze. And then we're reaching that right hand around in a little twist, maybe bringing our gaze in its direction. Now from this pose here, we're just staying here for a couple of breaths. And then we're going to move around on our mat a little more. We're going to step that right foot back out behind us and we're going to turn those left toes in so that we're sideways on our mat. From here, let's take a little fold forwards. Bringing those fingertips down to the floor if you can, but you've got lots of props around you, maybe, I hope. So you can have a chair there if you need to. We're going to see if we can straighten the backs of our legs without locking the knees. Now, so straightening the back of your legs and noticing where it is that the weight of your body is resting. Note that your toes need to be a little pigeon toed here. How is that breath? Let's come back to it. Let's come back to it really strongly. Inhaling through the nose, feeling a little rise of your body. And then exhaling and pressing a little deeper down into the pose. Let's take that a couple more times without pressing into pain. Remember, we inhale, we lift up. And then we exhale and we deepen, we soften down a little more, even if it's just against that rising that happened. One more time, we're going to inhale, we're going to rise up. And then we're going to exhale and we're going to soften down. And from the softening down, now we're going to turn our heels in. We're going to bend our knees. We're going to rest our elbows on top of our thighs. Let's bring those feet a little closer together. Yeah. Rest those palms together. Maybe deepen the squat a little more. Let's take another movement of three. I remember I said it was going to be a flowing, moving practice today. So the inhale, we're going to rise up. We're going to reach our hands out wide like cactus arms. On the exhale, we're going to press back down, but we're going to bring the elbows together, the palms together, and we're going to press down into the knees. On the inhale, we're going to rise up, taking a nice big breath. On the exhale, we're going to press down, elbows together, palms together. Let's take that one more time, but we're going to stay in this lift up, reaching those hands out wide, and then we're going to bring hands to our hips. Turn those right toes towards the back of your mat now. That's going to be the front of your mat now. And we're stepping our left foot forwards and that now we're standing at the other end of our mat. Soften. Notice. Notice your breath. Yeah. Notice your breath. Notice the rhythm of your breath moving your body. Let's rock our weight over into our right foot. And let's glide that left foot back into warrior pose. We're coming to warrior two, so we're going to glide those hands out wide again. We're going to press down into both of the feet. Left toes are pointing forwards a little. We're stretching those arms and finding ourselves here in this pose. Again, right, the line of your spine, rather than tipping forwards, or sometimes even tipping back, it's rising up and away from your tail, up and out of the crown of your head. It's so I have little invisible silver thread and I'm drawing you a little higher. Right, the energetic quality of you is rising up. It's buoyant. It's powerful. It's strong. Now we are taking that movement of three again, moving with your breath. Yeah. <laughs> Moving with your breath, and that breath is controlled, it's contained, let's roll the hands towards the back of the body, fire up the space between the shoulder blades, elbows to palms back down again, making that triple spiral. We still have that wonderful alignment through the body. Check in. 
And then we're taking a little pause as we tip forwards and bring the back of the right arm against the right inner thigh and reach the left arm high, lifting your gaze towards it. Staying here for another breath. Right, maybe you can deepen that hand a little further, but not if it changes the alignment in your pose too much. Then we're going to rock back. We're going to straighten that right leg, touch your left palm down to your thigh, reach your right palm towards the back of your mat, lengthening through your side body. Stay here for another breath, exploring this pose. And then we're going to move through two, right? So we're going to exhale and we're going to squeeze through the back of the arm towards the inner thigh. Left arm reaches, lift your gaze. Rock back, we straighten that leg, pressing that left, right palm towards the back of your mat, touching that left palm down. And once more, we're going to squeeze forwards, bending that right knee, reaching that left arm high, rocking back, straightening that right knee. And then we take a little cartwheel to standing split. So cartwheeling your hands down either side of your right foot and seeing if you can lift that left leg up behind you into standing split right but remember it's okay if it was more of a dragging of the toes and then reaching up behind you maybe just explore what your body is capable of because it's all good just explore the movements of your body Now from here, you can touch those left toes down if you want to, or you might be able to hug that left knee towards your belly and rise all the way up to stand, bringing your right hand across to the outside of the left thigh, pressing, taking that little squeeze, and reaching that left arm back. So again, that lovely long length of your spine, allowing for the curves of your spine, you know, whatever they are, breathe, Enjoying this balance. <laughs> and then from here, we're going to release, but again, we're going to step that foot out wide and we're going to turn this time those toes out. Yeah, and we're going to creep them in a little further. Right, and we're taking a little swaying motion here. Let's increase that as a little. Let's sway over into one foot and then sway over into the other. Sway over into one foot. Yes, sway over into the other, lifting those toes as you rock away from them. Let's take that again. Swaying over into one foot, lifting the toes of the other. Yeah, deepening the pose. It's sway into the other foot, lifting the toes of the other. Deepening this pose. Should we take a pause here? We're going to rock over into one of the feet, lift the toes of the other. We're going to bend down and we're going to stay here for a breath. And then rock back over to the other side, pressing down into the sole of that foot, leaning forwards into the air. Let's rock back to centre. We're going to turn the heels out. Turn the heels out so that your feet are nice and wide. Again, taking a little fold forwards over the legs. So in this little fold forwards, conscious of the weight of your body, bringing it forwards into the toes, and then finding the heels, finding that even pressing of the soles of your feet down into the floor. And then maybe you can soften down into the pose, but without pulling your back too far, we're keeping that length of our spine, always conscious of that. Just staying here for another couple of breaths. And then draw those heels and bend those knees and roll up to stand. That's it. From here, we're going to step back towards the front of our mat, whichever, whichever direction you want to go now. We're going to turn our toes out a little 
our heels are just underneath our sit bones. Yeah, now, if you like, your feet can be a little wider than that. You're going to play around with that as you descend down into the pose. <laughs> so we're going to bring hands into prayer in front of our heart space. Now, I want you to just drop in. How are you feeling? How is your breath? Do you know squat is a pose that is challenging for you? If squat is a pose that is challenging for you, I want you to make allowances for the movements of your body. Just let your squat be what it needs to be. That might be quite high. It might not be a low squat at all because a challenge is great, but you're not pressing into pain. And so our knees are going to track out over our big toes. and We're going to start to slowly descend our hips down towards the floor, keeping those knee, knees pressing out towards the big toes. And maybe you can deepen all the way down into squat, find that position, and then squeeze up through the spine and lengthen out of the crown of the head. If your heels are down on the floor, then yeah, all good. If not, then that's all good as well. That's your squat, right? It can be really nice to roll up your mat and have, them, have it resting under your heels so that over time uh, you can maybe get used to that sensation of pressing down into the heels and strengthening the muscles along your shins. But you might just want to release from that completely. It's all good. Now let's lift our hips away from the calves if you are down quite low. So now we're finding the challenge again in our pose, a little squeezing up through the belly. We're going to come up onto the tiptoes. And from the tiptoes, we're going to see if we can reach our hands out wide like sunshine arms and come all the way up to standing. Reaching those hands towards the ceiling. Maybe you're still on tiptoes. Maybe you're flat-footed now. All good. Let's lower the heels down to the floor. Bring those hands back out beside us. Soften those shoulders down. Come to notice this pose your breath. And then we're going to take that little pathway again, right? It's nice to take a second time because you know your limitations now. You know where you're going to stop. Maybe you deepen a little further. You know a little bit more of what to expect. Maybe you've modified by popping something under your heels. We're going to inhale this time and sweep our hands towards the ceiling. Big sunshine arms, fingers spread. And then we're going to draw those hands down into prayer on the exhale. And we're going to lower down into squat. Rounding down into the soles of the feet. Sending down into this pose. Knees pressing out over the big toes. Now find where it is that you're comfortable to stop if you need to. Otherwise lower all the way down. Just rolling those shoulders back a little, lifting up through the crown of the head, that squeezing lift of your pelvic floor with your exhale. And as you inhale, maybe you can feel your connection to the earth a little more strongly. Maybe something different presents itself to you. As you exhale, again, that squeezing lift up through the pelvic floor, belly draws towards the center line a little. And then we're going to lift our sit bones away from our calves. We're going to come up onto the tiptoes. <laughs> find your ground, find your earth, toes spread. Sweep those hands out wide like sunshine. We're going to rise all the way up to standing and see if maybe we can balance on the big toes or the <laughs> on the balls of the feet, rather. <laughs> and we're just going to stay here in this reach for as long as the breath is moving. In this breath, and then let's go with those hands. Let's stay here for a breath. Wonderful. What little dance pose would, wouldn't be complete without dancer's pose, right? But we're just going to take it in little uh, varying degrees. Now, if you're like me and you have some wall space around you, you might want to hold on to that wall as you come through. But our first movement is we're going to rock our weight on onto our left foot. And we're just going to bring that right foot up behind us and take hold of the foot. Yeah. Now slowly, you might be able to soften that right knee back towards the left. And you might be able to soften your hips towards a little. Now maybe feeling that stretch through the right hip a little more intently. A little more intensely.
Now from here, from this pose, perhaps you want to press that left palm towards the front of your mat and start to tip forwards. How does that feel? Does that feel okay? From here, can we press into a little back bend, lifting that left arm, lifting that right foot up behind us, keeping hold of it. Noticing your breath, keeping that breath moving steadily through your body. Can we stay here for another breath? And then let's soften back down again. Come into standing, release those hands down beside you, take a little roll of your shoulders. Can you feel that? Lift in your energy, real increase in energy through that dancer's pose. And so just stay here for a couple of breaths, letting that quieten, letting that quieten a little. And then coming to the other side, so we're going to rock our weight now over into our right foot. And we're going to see if we can pick that left foot up behind us. Now, and we're going to draw that left knee back towards the, um, the right. And we're going to soften our hips forwards. And nice and strong through the belly, feeling that stretch through your left hip flexor. Continuing to breathe. Remember, it's okay to hold onto a wall if you want to. It's okay to support yourself in this balance. And then that lovely stretch through your left thigh. Nice, powerful pose through your standing leg. And then shall we adjust this a little, take this towards dancer's pose. So to do that, we're going to tip forwards, pressing our right palm, first towards the front of our mat. Yeah, and then up towards the sky, pressing that left foot into the hand, taking this into a little back bend. Aware that this is a back bend. If back bend is, a, is, a, is something you're avoiding, then this is not your pose but maintaining that connection to breath. And then softening back down to standing. That left foot comes back down beside the right. Let's give those legs a little shake. Yeah, let's give those legs a little shake. Let's see if we can get that shake moving up the body. Oh, getting that really powerful energy moving around, getting it moving around through the body. We're going to move that a little more by bringing our attention to the breath, inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your nose and then come to stillness. Yeah, notice that humming flow of energy. It's quite high. It is for me. Now, maybe it is for you. It's quite lifted. It's quite elevated. We're going to bring it back down. And from having this energy nice and high, nice and lifted, the act of bringing it back down and then coming into a nice chill pose works really well. So to bring it back down, we're going to inhale, sweep our hands towards the side. We're going to lift our gaze. And then we're going to swan dive forwards. Can you swan dive forwards into your forward fold? Knees soften. Find that release through your low back, water falling your body down over your legs. That's it. Let that head release. Let that head go. <laughs> We're not rushing through this pose. We're taking a few breaths here. Relax those hands. Let's play a little more here. Let's play around with a little rock from side to side, pressing into one foot and then the other. The upper body, body swaying from side to side. And then we're going to bend our knees. We're going to press our hands down to the floor. You can keep your knees down. Remember that? We're going to step those feet back. So can you step your feet back into plank? Strong across your arms, pressing down into the palms. Just roll those shoulders back and down a little. That's it. We're staying here for another breath. And then bend those elbows back towards your big toes, lower all the way down to your mat. Release those toes. Stay here. 
stay here down on the ground. Turn your head towards one side, ear resting down on the ground. Again, just feel what it is to roll those shoulders back a little. Find space across your chest. Let's bring that gaze back to center. Inhale, lift to cobra. Flare your elbows, press down into the hands, strong through your low back, right? Because you could lift those hands away and you're still here. We're going to turn our head to the other side now. So rest back down on the floor and turn your head in the other direction. So now your other ear is resting down on the ground and you're taking a stretch of your neck through the other side. And then gaze back to center. We're going to bring those elbows underneath the shoulders now, palms towards the floor. And we're going to just draw down through the glutes, just engaging those glutes, pressing down into the top of the pubic bone and lifting up from there, finding this lovely stretch of the belly, not too compressive, pressive through the low back. Just, just recognize how compressive that this is through the low back. And if you have a sense of your energy having quietened down a little. <laughs> Let's release back down to the floor. We're going to quiet it even further. We're going to tuck our toes and you press back now into child's pose. Pressing all the way back into your child's pose. Hands down on the ground. Forehead resting down on your two fists if you can't quite get it uh, down on the floor. Yeah, so rest it on the two fists, rest it on a pillow, rest it how you need to. And your tail just drawing back towards your heels. Just remain here. You're going to be here for a few breaths. Just remain here, noticing the rise and fall of your body as you inhale and exhale. And then bringing yourself up to hands and knees, coming on down to seated. And just sweep those legs out around in front of you, extending them out long. And it's nice to sit up on a blanket in these poses just to lift yourself up a little higher through the sit bones, particularly if you know you're a little tight through the back of the legs. But if it feels okay without that elevation, then don't worry about it. You don't have to take it right. Totally up to you. From here though, what we are going to do is we're going to creep our hands forwards along the legs and we're just going to see if we've got the space to fold forwards down over the legs. Now your fold might be quite small. In fact, it might be better for you to have your hands behind you supporting you. It might be enough of a leg stretch. Can you have your toes drawing back towards you? And then let's squeeze forwards a little more and you've got a bit more space to fold into. Maybe. Maybe with each exhale you can fold a little more deeply. Noticing the inhale through the nose, creating that little oceanic sound. And you exhale through the nose again, that little oceanic sound. Let's really connect through that breath, inhaling through the nose, creating, creating that oceanic sound. And exhale through the nose, creating that oceanic sound. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the nose. Are you maintaining that little floating and flowing as you breathe? Now let's see if you can maintain that movement. That's that gentle movement, the rise and fall of your body over the shore of your legs.
Now from here, we're going to take a little stretch at the front of our legs. And to do that, we're going to come on over to hands and knees. And from hands and knees, have a, again, have that blanket under your knees if your knees are a little tender. We're going to step our left foot forwards. We're going to sweep that right hand forwards. Notice that my right knee is a little further back than my right sit bone. So bring that right knee a little further back if you can. Yeah, if you have the space to. And we're sweeping that right hand, maybe, as long as it feels okay. And lifting our gaze towards it. Right, maybe you can reach the left arm as well. Some of you might feel really comfortable taking hold of the right foot in your right hand. If you are doing that pose there, just still connect with that lifting, that extension through the right hip. Sometimes we lose that a little when we take hold of the foot and it becomes all about the knee and the thigh. And again, we're going to explore that movement around our mat. So to come to the other side, we're going to come forwards, come into this little extended leg pose again, folding forwards over the knees, taking a little stretch here, releasing that low back, because you were in a back bend there, right? If you were moving with me into that back bend, and we're countering that now. And then we're creeping our hands forwards, we're turning the other way, so now our right toes are forwards and our left knee is back, a little further than the hip, not collapsing into it, we're still nice and strong down into the pose, a blanket or something under your knee if you need one or want one, and then seeing if we can sweep that left arm high, still nice and strong through the back of the left leg, you know, maybe that right arm as well. Maybe it feels nice for you to take hold of that foot, yeah, so that's okay as well, totally up to you. Uh, just be aware if that makes you release through that, you know, just kind of brings your attention away from that stretch through your left hip. And this time, rather than coming into that forward fold position standing, we're going to come down to seated with our legs extended out wide. Toes drawing back towards you, wide for you, yeah, wide for you. And again, you can be sitting up on a blanket. Might feel good to just hop your sit bones a little through the forwards. And it might be possible to take a little fold forwards over your legs. Again, that fold is really coming through the hips. You're not trying to get your head to raise your belly towards the floor, right? It's, it's that angle of movement down towards the ground. Again, Back in with the breath as you inhale deeply through the nose. And then as you exhale deeply through the nose, maybe the pose deepens a little, folding into the space that the breath has left. And inhaling deeply through the nose, we lift and rise away a little. And as we exhale and soften into the pose, we fold a little more deeply into the space that our breath has left. Continuing in this pattern, as we inhale, we lift up and away. And as we exhale, we soften and deepen into the space that our breath is in. Helping the breath here, we're not rushing through. And your breath is long, it is even, and it is controlled. Let's come back to seated. Now I already have a blanket down on the floor underneath me. It's underneath my mat. If you want to pop a blanket on top of your mat, do. You might be practicing on carpet at home and you feel quite cozy enough and that's fine as well. Let's bring those legs back to center. We're going to hug the knees towards us. 
and we're just going to hug our body down over our knees just as low as your body folds down over your knees remember your body is just as it is it is fine the way it is love it this is the body you were blessed with it's done a good job for you so far <laughs> it's got you here down on your mat and so appreciate this body spend some time loving this body And then we're going to come down to the floor. So we're going to roll over onto our sides. And then can you roll over onto your back? And bring the soles of your feet together if it feels okay into recline butterfly pose. So it's quite nice sometimes in recline butterfly pose to lift your hips and pop the back down a little further away so that your spine gets a little stretch. I quite like to just place my um, shoulders so that they rest like dinner plates down on the ground rather than angled. Sometimes in my tendency is just to shrug my shoulder tips together. Yeah, and so I just like to take the, the chance to just really rest then. Your hands can rest up overhead, they can rest down on your belly, wherever they feel comfortable, wherever you think that they are um, giving you the most benefit. So if it's your breath that you need to connect with, or that you wish to connect with, Rest them in your belly. If it's the earth that you wish to connect with, rest them down beside you. And with your breath, again, that Ujjayi breath, inhaling through your nose, creating a little restriction at the base of your throat, feeling that expansion, and then exhaling through your nose, feeling that drawing back in drawing back in towards your center, inhale, feel that floating up and away from your center, expanding out from your center, and exhaling, drawing back in towards the center, can you feel that, maybe it feels like the opposite to you and that is fine, whatever it is for you, it's your experience, staying here for a couple more breaths, And then we're bringing the knees back towards each other. And we just press them lightly together. And hug your knees towards your belly. Now take hold of them, give them a little squeeze. You might need some space between your knees to make space for your body. Just take that option, bring them out wide. Just releasing our low back a little. Surfing your feet. Surfing your feet. And then circle them the other way. If it feels okay, so I know sometimes it feels a little crampy, squeeze and release your toes just slightly. And again, make circles with your feet and circle around the other way. Reach down between your knees and take hold of your big toes and pistol grip. That's that grip where we reach between the big toe and the second toe. But our two fingers wrap around underneath our big toes. So our big toe is being held in those two fingers. Ooh, we've got that. <laughs> and then we're going to play around with extending one leg at a time. Right? And it may, your leg might stay quite bent. That's all good. We're just exploring where the length of our leg is. We're in no rush to move from one leg to the other. With one leg extended, even if the knee's quite bent, can you feel that there's a temptation to rock into one side? Can you keep that weight evenly balanced? Let's come through to the other leg. To the other leg. What parts of your body can you keep nice and soft? There's some power that we maintain through our belly to keep our pelvis even on the floor, but you can soften the muscles of your face. You can even soften parts of your chest, the space where you breathe, parts of your legs. Let's bend that knee and keep both of those knees bent. We're going to just hug those knees back towards us. Hey, take a little rock from side to side. Preparing for Shavasana now. Remember, I promise you a nice, long Shavasana. 
So rocking lightly from side to side. Now, is your head moving with the rest of your moving body? Is your head rocking with the rest of your moving body? Maybe, maybe not. If it's not, then get it involved. We have one more little stretch. What we're going to do is we're going to pop our right foot down on the floor and we're going to put the left ankle on top of the right thigh. Let that left knee fall out towards the side. But keep your feet flexed and then hug your right knee or your right thigh towards you if you can. If it's enough of a stretch with your right foot down on the floor, stay there. Otherwise, hugging that right thigh towards you. Again, what parts of the body can you keep nice and soft? Can you soften that left hip? But with your feet flexed, your knees are nice and stable. Can you soften the muscles of your face? Can you soften your breath, your attention? Can you notice this breath? The power of this breath. The softness of this breath. And then glide that left foot on. Put that left foot down on the floor now. We're going to put that right ankle on top of the left thigh and just let that right knee roll out to the side. Again, from here, this might be enough of a stretch for you, or you might want to wrap your hands around the left thigh and just draw it a little closer. Your ankles are flexed. It keeps your ankles stable, your knees stable. But where are the places you can soften? Can you soften your hip? Can you soften your face? Can you soften your attention? Noticing this breath, the power of this breath, the softness, the smoothness of this breath. Again, hugging both knees towards you, taking that little rock from side to side, noticing as your head moving with the rest of your moving body, get it involved. <laughs> And now touch the soles of those feet down on the floor. Get cozy and warm. Reach the legs out, hands down beside you. If you have any low back pain, or if you want to make this pose maybe a little more supportive, then just have a blanket behind the back of your knees. And that just makes things a little softer through the hips. Hands rest down beside you. Again, just find space across your chest. Tuck your chin lightly to find length down the back of your neck, but then let it go, then relax it. Your feet are relaxed, your hands are relaxed. Close your eyes. Noticing that breath. We need to control that breath in any way, just noticing it. Noticing the rhythm of your breath as you move that breath through your body, as that breath moves your body. Noticing the sounds, sounds of life around you. And perhaps you can hear birds or a dog barking in the distance. And then bringing that awareness a little closer, sounds you can hear around you. But they're fine, just let them be. As they are, just know this one. And then coming in a little closer again as you inhale, feeling the sensation of the air on the end of your nose. Maybe feeling a little chill at the end of your nostrils. As you exhale, that air is warmed to the temperature of your body. As you inhale, Feel that little chill at the end of your nose. And as you exhale, that breath is warmed to the temperature of your body. Continue that smooth pattern of breath, that smooth rhythm of breath. 
notice that the muscles of your face are softening. Relax and release across your forehead around your eyes. Soften and relax across your temples, your cheeks. Releasing and relaxing around your mouth, your jaw, your tongue. Tracing the pattern of your breath as it draws down a little deeper and you soften the back of your scalp, back of your neck and throat. You soften and release across your shoulders and chest. And continuing to follow that movement down your arms to your fingers, softening your hands. thumbs, all of the fingers, your wrists, your lower arms, your elbows and your upper arms. Softening now down the sides of your body, your ribcage, your waist, your hips. Releasing and relaxing now down your legs, all the way down to your toes your feet, your ankles, your lower legs soften, your knees, your thighs, softening across your pelvis, releasing and relaxing all the way up your back, feeling the muscles between your shoulder, your shoulder blades release, all the way up across your shoulders, softening. Softening the muscles of your chest and your belly. As you inhale, feeling that gentle rise of your body. And as you exhale, that softening back down towards the earth. And with each breath, you release a little more fully, a little more completely. With each breath, you become a little more aware of your connection to the earth. At a physical level, the points of your body that are connected to the earth. And you soften and relax down into these points. And you feel the embrace of the earth as she holds you. And you know you can relax and let go a little more. As you release and let go a little more, you understand that you can relax completely. And so with each breath you do, you soften, you release and you let go. You surrender completely to Shavasana.
And now as you breathe, your consciousness rises up like a laugh, <laughs> like a stretch. And you feel it lifting, you feel it rising. Smile. This is a good place to be. This. And you're good. You're okay. Acknowledge that. Start to move a little. Maybe that first movement was your smile. Maybe it's a little wriggle of your fingers and toes, a little stretch through the shoulders. Hey, you. <sighs> From here, roll over onto your side. Keep your eyes closed. Then press up all the way to seated. Now, what if a seated pose serves you best? And again, take some time to acknowledge your strength. You are doing an amazing job. You're all good. You're okay. <laughs> and join me in an OM practice. Now, if OM isn't uh, resonating with you, you can just take an inhale through the nose and a big audible sigh out through the mouth. Otherwise, taking one um with me today. When you're ready, join me. Wonderful to practice with you tonight. Namaste.